tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, so what have you got to lose? Tick-tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, with Slosh and Booze. Hi, this is Slosh. Buzz. Slosh Beano. Welcome back to Beer O'Clock with Slosh and Buzz for the April 2018 unboxing for BoozeBud.com. Booze These Bud guys have Frost. been supporting us for a year and a half. A year and a bit, yeah. A year and a bit. Yeah. They have been absolutely been amazing. Um, Slosh, not in the title, but yeah. you support me as well. You, use our, use our code Slosh Buzz yep. for a 15% discount. Uh, capital S, capital B, one word. It'll, it'll be right there. I think it's uh, www.boozebud.com.au. Yep. Or .com, I think it does, and but they'll are, be there, we and we're going to pick them out. What is the box? It's this the is the this is the craft beer club box for April 2018. Craft beer club mm. box. Get Space eight craft Peanut beers, is going to pick them out for us. Not and do you want to read the first one? Sure. Sure. Who do you got? Me? No, no, I just nearly took it off you. But well, you can read it. You no, you go. You go. So first one out the thing was <laughs> Trailblazer. Two Shout out to Danielle. We know Danielle. She put yep. up with us at school. She did. And her brother's a legend too. Is he? Love the Smith family. He Ke is. Kevin Smith? Damien Smith. Damien He's a uh, mate of my brother's uh, top fella. Nice. Really good. Oh, that's yeah. good. Danielle's cool as as well. Yeah. Long time no see. Her mum once hey. dropped beer off to us and we didn't use it for six months before we started our reviews. And you answered the door in your boxer shorts? Yeah, nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Hello, someone I've never met before. Yeah. Thanks for the brew. Thanks so for the what we have. beer. Two birds. Aussie Trailblazer awesome. Lager. Trailblazer Aussie Lager, sorry. Yep. Uh, 4.5%, it's got and notes. we'll read the tasting notes. Two Birds Trailblazer is a crisp, clear, and refreshing beer brewed with Australian malt and hops. It encapsulates the values that Two Birds hold dear. Mateship, winning spirit, commitment, effort, hard work, and passion. Oh, I nice. know, but I really like them. They do really well, yeah, too. Yeah, they so. do. they got yeah. the two little Tweety Birds on there, and they've got the cup, like the... Uh, yeah, I've never tried that, The one. championship cup. Uh, they're, they're, they're Chardonnay. 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 Was not, Chardonnay was not what I wanted. It was not it what wasn't I expected. It wasn't bad, but yeah. it wasn't what I thought I was going to get. That's I the only one. That one, but I haven't tried a Like a wine, but yeah. It pours light golden in but colour, yeah, has a soft floral aroma and oh. light finish on the palate. 4.5%, 330 mils. No clit, no flaws. No clit, no flaws. Alright. Um, yeah. Lovely. Now, I'm going to give this one to you to read. Alright. Because you love that stuff. What do we got? We got Sierra Nevada Hop Hunter. Brewed with farm distilled hop oil. Oh wow. It's oil. delicious. It sounds like they've made hash hey, out of hops. Alright, we got, we got Sierra Nevada from California, USA. Uh, it's an IPA called Hop Hunter. Hop Hunter IPA harnesses the complex flavors of just picked hops before they even leave the fields. This revolutionary technique captures and intensifies the natural flavors, creating a unique and intensely aromatic beer. Sierra Nevada's custom process gathers pure hop oil, which when combined with tr traditional whole cone hops in the brew kettle and in the hop torpedo, <laughs> That's a lot of... That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hop Torpedo. Makes mm. for an incredible IPA experience and it clocks in at 6.2%. That's the actually a fantastic beer. This is pretty good. Sit down. Yeah. Alright. Um, good boy. Good boy. Hey, Goose IPA. Um, oh, as always, um, their craft beer box is eight beers every month and it's two of each. So basically, if you've got a mate nice. that you can catch up with once a month and try eight different beers, this is the perfect thing to co-invest in. Yeah, it's like a co lucky, it's like a lucky dip. Yeah, and you, you get, get some but, rippers. But, look, that sometimes there's some Kahuna ones in there. Is it Kahuna? Kona. Kona. There's sometimes there's Kahuna Kona in there. All those stupid ones with the cars on them. Uh, they reckon they're craft, but they're yeah. just factory. But but normally, but normally there are some rippers six in here. Six out of eight yeah. are fantastic. You can guarantee that you're going to like six out of eight of them. So, every uh, time. This is the and goose. And will still drink the others. This is the goose oh, IPA. It is. It is. Um, goose IPA is from Chicago, USA. India Pale Ale. A hop lover's dream. Citrus aromas. Assertive bitterness. Not like a mediocre band. 
um, <laughs> assertive bitterness and bold hop because assertive is like you, you deserve it yeah, like you've earned right. it it's not just like you you're being confidence. an annoying bastard no. yeah yeah, yeah. aggressively with, average it's yeah. not that no it's it's not assertively average it's aggressively average as the Foo Fighters yeah. this is assertive which means you, de you, yeah. you you deserve it yeah. and India <laughs> and India Pale Ale this is a great example of a hop lover's dream based on a traditional English style a fuller flavoured IPA with bright citrus aromas and a bold hop finish 5.9% there's a certain number of cotton flaws that I can't see the Foo right. Fighters don't even deserve mediocrity is that what well, kind of. I'm just saying aggressively. Well, the old I'm saying aggressive and assertive are different words. One's, they are, they are. one's like you're just pushing it on people, and the other one's like you know that you're worthy. Yeah. It's not yeah. like Wayne and, and Garth going, we're not worthy. It's like yeah. I know I'm worthy, but I'm also not arrogant. You're yeah. being force fed vanilla ice cream, and there's the option of chocolate or something a lot more exotic and interesting, but you're being force fed vanilla, yeah. which is what the people. And if you prefer BDSM, you know. Sorry, we're just going to continue on with that. And... Yep. <laughs> so, this Sly one. Box. Sly Box. Sly Fox. It's a personal favourite. Um, from some local the guys. the first yeah. that these guys got me into that I absolutely... Fucking it's the love. one you rock up to D&D to &D every time. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yep. If, I had a, if I got 16 of these, I would be the happiest camper. But, uh, I don't. I'll still drink the rest. <laughs> um, they're not mine. I'll still drink the Sly Fox. Oh, Sly Fox. <laughs> Thanks for the hint. Uh, from Feral, um, from Bakersville. We try not to be offensive in this one. We've been good. Oh, we've been good boys. It's very hard. This it's sneaky, really hard. This sneaky little beer is right, right on its feet. And also, it's difficult not to be offensive. It's <laughs> Apparently. Uh, sneaky little beer is light on its feet but packs a punch of flavour. We lightly filter the beer to get a vibrant hoppy aroma with a clean food? bitterness that appears that you can is perfectly <laughs> with a summer's day. 4.7% barrel brewing sly fox. Alright. If you oh. see it, drink it. Now, this is amazing. This is Big Shed Brewing Company's Golden Stout Time. It's basically having a big golden gay time in your mouth, which is pretty fantastic. Golden oh. gay times are dirty, one dirty. of the best things that... No, we're not being dirty. Oh, in Australia, golden gay times are pretty... They're, one of, they're actually one of the last remaining public uses of the word gay that no one takes fucking offence to anymore. Josh anymore isn't golden it? gay times in this We world. all love golden gay times. They're a delicious ice cream. And they're, yes, they're doing lots of other stuff with it now. There's like the Golden Gate time, like there's the thing, yeah. the, the shaking of like, you know, the crumbs that you can get to just put on ice cream by itself. It's amazing. Delicious. Big Shed's Golden Stout Time was one of the top rated beers for 2015's Melbourne Gabs Festival. Gabs, man, it's happening in a couple of weeks. I wish we were over there for Gabs. We gotta go one year, man. We do. Um, this beer might just be the closest thing to a liquid Golden Gay time. This dessert stout, don't you laugh, <laughs> contains specialty malts, cacao and lactose to provide a chocolatey malted honey sweetness, 6.6%, .6%, the perfect number of cl no flirt, no flaws, no and clips, no, no, flour, no clips. filth. It is a beautiful no beer. Flour. And have you tried this before? <laughs> no. Well, you're taking yeah, you're one taking of these home there. and then you'll fucking, you'll I understand. Am I am home. So oh, I'm shit. taking it here. What's left? What's left for Woods 3? What did I get? Oh! The, uh, hashtag. <laughs> See that? It's like a hash. I said hashtag. <laughs> All of these ones. Now, what is it? Hope. Oh, Nelson Bay, New Hope South Wales. Wales. Hope. Hope. XBA. Yeah. Michael. Michael. Hope. Read it from here. Yeah. It's uh, uh, it is a bold, aromatic, and fruity American Hope. Pale Ale tropical fruit. Hope Brew House. Hopebrewhouse.com.au What's Michael Michael? Um, I don't know. I assume it's owned by Michael and Michael. Mr. just brought um, us a present. It's a monkey's head! Sick! <laughs> 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 Smells. Decapitated monkey. I got a good whiff of that. It does not smell <laughs> good. I didn't smell it at all. Well, there's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go on. Bold aromatic and fruity American Pale Ale. Tropical fruit, citrus, toffee and malt flavour and aromas are dominant and rounded off with a solid bitterness that is typical to the <gasps> style. Clocks in at 4.7%. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two left. Alright. 
So, so Pete, Pete and then me, I think. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We have, oh, this sounds like a bit of me. Piston head, eh? Piston head? Not piston broke. <laughs> piston broke racing. That's Pissed on your head. Piston head, dry hot lager, flat tyre. The lager part, not so much, but the mechanical references, yes, that's me. Um, that is a wicked looking can, I love the... It is good, isn't it? The voodoo skull, what do they call that? Can skull? Uh, it's a Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead? Katrina Cabin. Yeah. Brutal Brewing, wicked, in Sweden, that's a cool name. Uh, flat tyre it's called, it's a dry hop lager. Flat tyre delivers an elegant and full malt body balanced with the with a present and balanced bitterness. I'm really proud of us. <laughs> we're doing good. Oh, we're doing no, so no good. one has said oh. <laughs> No one has said what we've all thought at the time we could have said it. Okay. American Centennial and Mosaic oh, Hops <laughs> deliver a refreshing tropical fruit and citrus hop profile. That sounds good. This beer characterizes the modern pale lager style by combining freshness and drinkability with modern hot aromas. Nice. So I, really, nice. I really want to try that. Yeah. Yeah, you can take that one as well, man. Sure. Sweet. I like that. All right, I so like the, that. the final one I that like we're going to go that. with is one of my favorite uh, actual companies. Yoldi. Yoldi. Yar! Pirate. Pirate Life yep. and all that jazz. Uh, the schematic for a West Coast Pale Ale is bucket loads of big US hops, full multi backbone with, and a characterful yeast. That's what this Pale Ale is about. Enjoy as fresh as possible. Beer pairing everything all of the time. 5.4%. It is a really good it is beer. It is super solid. It is... Yeah. If, if you want to take a six pack of something... They do six packs of this one, don't they? It's four packs of the big ones. Yeah, six packs. Six you want to take pack. a six yeah, pack somewhere? They're, they're solid. This is a solid as hell beer. They used to sell it at Mojo's, but they lost their contract, and uh, it makes me sad. So this has been the April box for Boozebud. Yeah. Um, www.boozebud.com. Our code is Slosh Booze for a fifteen percent discount. As far and as I remember, it's fifteen percent. Don't. And we're being very professional, and there's no. I'm being professional. Oh, what are you say? If they want to keep their arms. Ah, it's normal. <laughs> Good times, fellas. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next month. Thank you, Booze Bud. Uh, Thanks, go Booze check Bud. them out. They have a really good selection. Oh, and they have been awesome to us this month as well. Hey, since this is the mine. beginning. And, I'll bite uh, your arms off. I'll bite your fucking arms off. This is mine. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to have the hash hops. <laughs> yeah. Oh.